Hi everyone and welcome to Johnny How To and welcome to part 3 in a branching series of videos covering how you can compile different branches of source code for Unreal Engine 4. Regardless of what branch you're using, once you've gotten to this step, the process is going to be the same, so I'm going to outline it with one version here, but just know that it's going to work for your version as well. The next step we're at now is to actually compile the source code, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the path to the files here, and I'm going to go to File, Open, and then Project Solution and just paste this in. You could double click on the file, but if you have different versions of Visual Studio installed, it's a little bit better to know which one it's actually opening up in. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the ue4.sln file and open it up. And if there's any extra files it needs in order to load the file correctly, you can go ahead and choose to install them right away. But once everything is installed, you should be able to open up the project without any issue. And there's just a couple things you need to make sure that you check before you go ahead and build the solution. First thing is you wanna go ahead and make sure in this dropdown is set to development editor. You want to make sure you're building for Windows 64 and then in the engine folder you're going to right click on UE4 and choose build. This is by far going to take the longest time out of all the process so this would be a good time to take a break and go for a walk or something like that. Alright so once the build is completed you'll want to go down to the output tab here and make sure it did succeed. If you have some failed modules you'll want to try and check in the error list why that is and ideally you want to rebuild and make sure that it goes through without any hiccups. So now that everything is compiled successfully, I'm going to go ahead and go under the engine folder and go under binaries and Windows 64 and the executable for Unreal Engine is going to be ue4editor.exe. The first time you launch this, it's going to take quite a while, but assuming you didn't get any errors earlier on in the process in Visual Studio, this should load up just fine and just give it some time. All right, so I'm at the menu where I can create a new project. This did take a while for it to get to, and you can see it's compiling shaders in the background initially, but I can go ahead and start a new project at this point. I'll go ahead and do the third person default, and I'll go ahead and create a project, and we'll go ahead and have that loaded up inside of the editor again after a initial build time. All right, so as the last of the shaders are finishing compiling here, you can see I am in the third person template right here and everything seems to be running fine. If I go and click play, I can go ahead and run the engine as if I download as binary, but with all the branching technologies, if you chose to download those and compile those included inside the engine. Something that's important to mention about any built version of Unreal Engine you do in Visual Studio is the folder size. You can see right now I'm at about 53.3 gigabytes. I've seen this significantly larger as well. And that's typically obviously not something you want. Now you can significantly cut down this size by going into the engine folder and there's an intermediate folder right here that's used just when Visual Studio is building. If I right click on this, and we compare these two folders, my overall folder size is 53.3, but I have about 15 gigabytes just of extra intermediate stuff that I can delete and still have the engine run absolutely perfectly. Now, the intermediate folder, if you're adding a new thing, so say in the next step I wanted to add in or inject a plugin and build that into the source engine code as well, then I don't want to delete this quite yet. But once you know that you're not gonna be making any more changes, you can go ahead and cleanly delete this folder and you're not going to lose anything except for reclaim some space. Now you know how you can take any source code of Unreal Engine, whatever it might be, whatever branch, and go through the process of compiling. At this point, your source build of Unreal Engine is complete, though if you want to inject a plugin, go ahead and check out the next video, and I will cover that in there. Thank you very much, everybody, for going through this process with me, and I will see you on the next Johnny How To. Hey.